Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am very happy to have Sean Sedlodchek here, who is with Box Productions. Welcome to the show, sir. Good to be here. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, it's thrilling to have you here because I often think about uh, the fact that Sundance is so much more than the film side of things. This is an event. And with events comes all kinds of uh, marketing and uh, fun activities that go with it, the parties, all of that. And uh, that's really the heart of what Vox Productions is all about, isn't it? It is. Um, our company's been in business for about 31 years. And about 16 years ago, I came up with a, a movie called Hedwig and the Angry Inch, which did very well at Sundance Film Festival. Awesome. And in looking around, I, I, was, I was blown away about all the opportunity right. for basically corporate America to come here and market their products. Yeah. Um, so I've been here for 16 years in a row, and a lot of my friends and colleagues will say, you know, did you see any good movies at the Sundance <laughs> Film Festival? And my answer is always, there's are movies. There, are there movies at Sundance <laughs> Film Festival? Right. I mean, literally, uh, we we don't have time for these movies because we're creating the experiences in the morning, the interviews, right. the media lounges the cocktail parties, the cast dinners, and then a lot of the after-hour projects. Basically, we run events for our clients 24-7 throughout the entire um, you know, film festival. So it's been, a great, it's been a great opportunity for companies that want to get involved with art and film right. to come up and basically showcase their products. Well, you know, we've certainly seen a, a much larger level of synergy between film and commercial. Uh, over the last few years, the, the sophistication of commercials has become so much a part of what they're now offering to us. We won't watch a commercial that's boring. We won't take part in marketing that isn't exciting. Isn't that kind of well, something that you really I mean, have to in, think indeed, about? Indeed, uh, you know, commercials, the standard and you know, traditional commercials are getting more theatrical. But right. if, if you flip it around, a lot of uh, filmmakers are struggling to get funds right. to make these movies. and. You know, product placement and integration of marketing in movies is, is alive and very well. Maybe you don't see it, but when that person's driving the right. car, drinking the Coca-Cola, I mean, you, you better believe someone's paying for that to be in the movie. Well, and just like that, Sundance has grown a lot, too, and it requires a lot of marketing uh, and a lot of uh, those partners to do that. You guys have introduced <coughs> a lot of those companies together and have ended up being uh, main sponsors. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, you know, there's a, a word called ambush marketing, guerrilla marketing. Guerrilla marketing. A lot of yeah. our clients aren't official sponsors of the Sundance Institute or the right. Sundance Film Festival, but we've actually helped convert quite a few uh, brands. For instance, we had pitched uh, Southwest Airlines right. to come and actually do some events during Sundance sure. unofficially, brought them here, wooed the clients, got a very small fee for our work, and they ended up signing a deal uh, with the Institute to be part of the Sundance Film Festival wow. and for many years was one of their title sponsors. So, right. you know, if we hadn't have brought them here, that probably wouldn't have happened. And kind of also creative use of space, too. You guys managed to get a hold of the, the Park City Museum and get them excited about doing some things. And next thing you know, Sundance is like, hey, we want, we want a little of that. Well, there's a lot of businesses in the city and they want to make revenue. Sure. Some want to be a part officially and some don't. Obviously, right. Sundance can't use every venue. So our job really is literally to find venues that are not being used by the film festival so our clients can use them. And one particular year on a scouting trip, I went in just as a tourist into the Park City Museum, the Territorial Museum, and I thought it was right. a great space. The jail, all the of jail. it. The jail, yeah. <laughs> right. So I approached the executive director and said, hey, I want to bring Cadillac to this space. And in fact, I want to use Park City's territorial jail from 1880 for a party. Right. And she's like, we've never done a party in this space. And <laughs> as it turns out, the space is owned by the city, not by anybody else. Right. So we literally went to city council and pitched to be to use it for Cadillac. We were awarded the opportunity to sublease it from the museum. And for one year, it was absolutely the hottest spot. It was a pretty fun party. It was a great yeah. party. In fact, uh, uh, members of uh, police, Sting and uh, Andy Summers, were at the party down in the right. territorial jail and allegedly reunited the band, the police. Police at our party. It's a good place to do it. You just locked them in the jail until they agreed, just, didn't you? We just locked them in and said, if you don't get back together, you're not leaving. You're not leaving. <laughs> but right. ironically enough, we created enough press about the event that members of Sundance Film Festival said, why are we not using this space? Right. So the next year, we were not able to rent it because the film festival used it. So we just we moved on, for instance, this year for a yeah, client. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, what's the, the happening spot this year? What's the big well, one for our, you guys? Well, we're, we're, we're bullish on a client called Tau. It's a nightclub in uh, New York. 
work in Las Vegas. Right. They have a great night. Into the program. Vegas one. It's yeah. unreal. It's super fun. Yeah. So we have gone into the underground parking lot at the Town Lift, which is deep into the you know the catacombs right. of the building, and we recreate um, you know their facility for 500 people, so that at night from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. they basically do a private event for the town. Experience that's, a town. So that's wow. Friday night with DJ Vice, and eight, uh, we have Brody coming in on Saturday, and different clients will come in Friday, Saturday, and so. so that's going to be a fun place to be. If you can get in. If you can Absolutely. get in. That's going to be the challenge. Be a very great place to be. Wow. Well, it sounds like uh, all the hit places are going to be uh, things that Vox Productions put together. How do other folks look at uh, maybe in incorporating you into their next marketing plan? Well, um, it's interesting about Sundance is a lot of people race to the very end. It's yeah. the fir first program of the year, and um, a lot of people want to be here, but they don't quite get here. We really love being here because a lot of the clients we work with throughout the year are here. Um, so each year we add a few programs. We'll be doing Chef Dance again this year. Okay. Um, that's at the. Uh, that's super fun. That's yeah. a great event that used to be at the old Harry O's location, but that's we bring music and, and and cooking and chefs together, and that's a night for us. Uh, five nights this year, and Chef Dance is great. And then of course. Coffee House yep. um, provides a lot of music, music up here, a lot of independent music. So we help produce a lot of their concerts. In fact, we have a concert with them, a private concert with them tonight. Wow. So a lot of fun stuff going on. Well, I sure appreciate you coming and sharing it with us. And uh, thanks for what you're doing. It's not, you know what? At the end of the day, it's the experience, the whole experience that brings the great actors. The, every, all of it is incorporated. It's, it's got to be part, part and parcel of the experience. It's a great event, and uh, we love the films. But you know, as you mentioned, nightlife and marketing and experience is really what this is all about. Definitely. All right. We'll be back with more of that experience right here on Park City Television's Mountain Morning Show after this quick break.